just started another dryer test. As you can see, today I'm drawing 152 amps off of my battery pack. We will see how the test goes. Nothing has warmed up yet and we will continue this. Current battery temperature is 17.2 degrees Celsius. Here is the inside of LV5048 MPP solar inverter charger. You can hear the fans running at pretty high, well, pretty high nose, uh, noise. Total output active power is 6.8 kilowatts. Total load on both inverters is 68% and total output apparent power is 6896 volt amps. Batteries are now at 17.8.9 degrees Celsius. The dryer has disconnected now for a little bit. It does that once it reaches a certain temperature. We're waiting for it to kick in. Back to 150 amps. Previous tests were at 160. 157, 165, today is at 150, we will continue, output at the screen is total, uh, uh, total output active power is 6850 watts, and total apparent power is 6,873 volt amps. Nothing has gotten warm yet. Uh, checking the temperature of the cable, trying to aim it and record at the same time. This is a little bit difficult so far. 64. 64 degrees I'm thinking it's more like 68 I would say that this thing does lie a little bit however nothing is getting warm at current time checking the temperature now coming out of inverters as an exhaust we are at about 88 degrees I would put it at about 90 95 I don't think it's more than that I think this little meter lies what about five six degrees there we go it turned off again not turned off but the dryer is going through the cycle right now where it's cooling off a little bit and holding the same temperature and then it will come back on Let's go over there at the main screen and main computer screen and look at uh, what the power draw is and how it goes. All right, we're looking at the chart right now. This is an hourly chart, uh, data collection from a watch power. And we are browsing today, November 16, 1900 hours, meaning 7 p.m. at night. You can see where the draw is at 7 kilowatts. It does this by a minute. And you can see it where the where the dryer goes through the cycles of heating up elements inside and holding the constant temperature. Uh, we will continuously update and we'll go from there. Here's an update on the battery performance. We are down to 51.6 volts at 150 amps. 
current battery capacity stated as 332 amp hours. Load at 7.78 kilowatts from the battery itself. And we'll continue from here in a little while. Okay, the dryer just went into its cycle. It goes back down to about 40 amp draw or a total draw of 2 kilowatt. Battery recovers a little bit to 52.2. We'll wait for the dryer to kick back in. We are now around 20 to 25 minutes in. It has kicked in, battery goes down to 51.8, current capacity 328 amp hours. As you can see I upgraded the uh, wires to 2 gauge, so far no problems, no heating up. Battery temperature right now is at 19 degrees Celsius. I think the temperature would be even higher if I kept the uh, door closed. However, I'm doing the test and I'm waiting to see what happens. Focus, please. So you can see right now that the dryer is cycling more often, meaning the temperature has reached uh, maximum and the stuff is already pretty much dry inside. This dryer manages to dry everything in around 45-50 minutes, maximum 55 minutes. So we will see how long it continues. Right now it's 7.29 p.m and test has started at 6.56 p.m. Here we are, right now the capacity is at 315 amp hours. Load is still steady, steady between 7.8 and 8 kilowatts, no more than that. We are right now at 152 amps, battery 51.6, we will continue. Battery has reached 19.3 degrees Celsius at about 7.30 p.m. Temperature out of the uh, inverters themselves at about 85-86. rest of the cables here we go the dryer has cycled again these are the cables right now at about 74 75 take that about 83 84 battery now at 19.6 degrees Celsius I do not see anything funny going on inside. All the connections seem to be okay. This little thing does lie for about 5 to 8 degrees I would say. Because this is where the sensor is. This lead where the laser pointer is on it, that's where it is. then I think it's lying a little bit we'll see how it goes 
right now at 302 amp powers at 154 amps 51.5 volts on battery still a load of 7.9 to 8 kilowatt currently at 19.5 kilowatt hours this includes previous days running some tests overnight and whatnot now let's look at on screen and see how we going on the consumption I think we are almost done as you can see the line between dryer heaters heater elements coming on and off is shorter and shorter than it was over there at the beginning and I think we're about at the end of the test soon 737 p.m. none of the connections none of the wire connections got significantly warm they, they get a little bit warm but hey that's normal to expect however nothing like it was the last time battery has reached the temperature of around 20 degrees Celsius 19.9 to be exact 40.8 amps 41 amp right now 52.1 volts battery capacity at 293 amp hours load at 2.1 kilowatts I think we're the battery has reached around 20.3 20.4 degrees Celsius the dryer is now in cool down period cool down mode I just went and checked it that's what it says on it I do not believe it will draw power again but we will see and dryer has finished entered in the cooldown period and there was a, some kind of a draw at about nine eight and a half nine kilowatts and then it went down and right now it's sitting around one one point eight kilowatt load final battery rundown we are at 277 amp power capacity it drained about what are we going to say 25 30 percent of the battery just to do this just to do a dryer let's check the temperature final temperature on the battery is 20.5 degrees celsius everything is looking good no issues and i'll talk to you guys soon